us. Let us rejoice and be glad that you're in it. I like to call the boys. We can protect the mic, I guess. I like to welcome the online people. And I would like to welcome all of you that are here today to celebrate with us our first year here in this particular location. So I say thank you to everybody who has been so faithful, that's given their time, energy, and money to help this chapel be all that it is today. And so thank you. And I would like to say God loves you and so do we. And greet your neighbors and give them a big hug. <laughs>
We also ask today that we send healing to all those we need and to comfort them. Give our family and friends strength and surround all with your loving light. Amen. At the back of our songbook here, uh, you will see our, it's one of our uh, spirit festivals, the ADA. We acknowledge and validate and appreciate all those who volunteer and those who assist us with the services we provide at this chapel. And um, I also at this time would like to thank all the volunteers uh, throughout this uh, year that have helped me and to uh, keep the chapel going. Without your contribution, the chapel uh, would not have had such a successful year. And uh, also, we're going to have our energy now in July. And if you'd like notification, please leave us your address and we could uh, send a notice to you. And also, there are memberships available and forms are at the table here at the entrance to the hall. And right now, I'm going to um, ask that we go to Psalm number 27. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can tell I'm very nervous today. <laughs> First birthday. And uh, to be up with my, I'm honored to be up there with my, with my teacher, uh, which I will share a little bit with you uh, a little bit later on. And I'd like to acknowledge, uh, we have guests in the students in our audience, it's Reverend Joyce Simon. And welcome, and I also like to have a special welcome to Donna Baines, who's here from, from Calgary. She's busy, and uh, she has a um, she offers learning with laughter. Is that correct, Donna? I think that's wonderful humor, and we need a lot of that today in our world. And having said that, we'll just go on to our um, next song. It's number 27, and it's Amazing Grace.
fine print. Not even a fine print. Although Balance Point Awareness Centers have been operating since 1976, this is the first anniversary of our, our kindergarten online chapel at Ocean Park. We've had a fantastic year here. Thank you, the congregation here in the chapel and on the online congregation who watch us each week. Here are some messages sent to the chapel. From Raymond Erickson, if she's here. Congratulations, Barbara. Amazing one year has slipped by already. Have a great day celebrating blessings for you. From Ted Coons, who has actually been one of our guests here a few many times. Hi Barbara, congratulations on your first anniversary. You are an angel. Keep up the good work. Cheers, Ted. From Reverend Ann Beveridge, Universal Brotherhood, congratulations on a very special well done on your first anniversary. You are doing a remarkable job and bring much joy and spiritual knowledge to people every day. Blessings to you, Lord Anna. The shoes, she's been here a few times as well. Valerie and Jan Hansen from Prince George. So they've been watching us. Uh, congratulations, love Valerie Hansen. Cheryl and Kevin Swain, who've been here. Those are the folks that actually have the band go off the hook, and Cheryl's been here doing a few uh, songs and uh, readings here as well. Congratulations on your one-year Ocean Park anniversary in a garden. Kevin and I are working, performing on Sunday, June the 1st, but shall be with you in spirit. Celebrate the blessing that you are, and we shall see you on Father's Day, June the 15th, when I am speaking. Look forward to this love and light, Cheryl and Kevin Smith. So I would like to also say, say congratulations to Inner Garden Online Chapel. Um, for being here that one year. Actually, from the very beginning, um, Barb had started the Inner Garden actually at the ABC restaurant, uh, which was a few months before that. And uh, this is where it started off the ground. And then when we were off with the opportunity to take this haul, uh, Barb put both feet right in there and she took ground. And ever since then, it's been going up and up and you know, looking forward to see more new things happen. We're also looking forward to have some new things happening as well, where there's talk in, this little, or in our, in our uh, board. They're talking about actually downsizing the books, but they're actually, what they're doing is actually talking about getting a projector, we're setting up a screen right here, so instead of the word of looking at your book, you can actually look at the screen. So you can actually sing your songs from the screen on this wall. So we're actually looking forward to do that. And, uh, but I have a funny feeling that Barb will still have some of the books for sale, so you can actually take them home with you and, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we do tend to forget to take the books home with us because they're such lovely songs that we want to memorize them all. But uh, somehow they get forgotten and, you know, I'm not going to put guilt on people's shoulders. <laughs> but you know what, it's okay because it's good to learn songs anyways because, uh, you know, I, I, uh, we were short of books and I hand all my books, all the books out and pamphlets and I stood there and I went, okay, now I'm going to sing the song Amazing Grace and I have no words in front of me. So I started from somehow just like, I'm watching her lips over here singing. <laughs> <laughs> so I was lip syncing over here, I felt it was going to contest here. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, I want to say to Barb and the rest of our congregation, board members, congratulations Barb. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing many years with you in this uh, church because I'm having a lot of fun being a uh, minister in training and um, you know like myself and Maureen and Dale Haggerty I mean, I, I've been in contact with her a lot I mean we do chat back and forth Lynn White we're back and forth chat back and forth as well we're somehow going to try and hint Keith to get more involved over here too so. okay thanks a lot folks get back to work Yeah, did you like to pop up here? Come on. <laughs> this is what happens when you're in You might turn up on Sunday and nobody turns up. <laughs> I'd just like to thank Lynn. Uh, Lynn has done a lot of work with us and has done a lot of inter uh, interworking between the inter church, especially First United Spiritual. So I just kind of like to thank you for that. And uh, aren't I a lucky person? I got four minutes. 
keep my hands warm, keep me out of trouble if you find me down there. She's the big one. <laughs> and uh, Keith, of course, uh, is back there, and Keith has been a lot of help to us, and I know it's going to be kind of get the hook on him and get him to do a lot more now. Do you want to say hi up there over there? Well, congratulations and thank you, Barbara Mazzi, for stepping up to make this Sunday, every Sunday, and everything you do to get here early in our time. And I think my goal for this next year is I'm going to be on time. For the next two, but thank you all for your support and uh, really, really validates to me. I'm really doing the right thing, and I've always said to Barb, I've always been a misfit, so I'm really glad to be a mitt now. So <laughs> 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 thank you so much. And I'm going to turn it back over to my coordinator and my other mitt. And my mitt. <laughs> thank you, Barbara. Uh, yes, my sincerest congratulations to Barbara and Ozzy. Actually, I met uh, Barbara about 10 years ago, and I never dreamed I would be up here on the platform, uh, which I've been told for the last three or four years you're going to be up there. And here I am, and I'm just so uh, ecstatic because such wonderful people have come into my life. And I've learned so much, and I'm still learning. And you'll have to forgive me if I make uh, a few mistakes, but that's part of the uh, learning process of life. And I just, uh, it's a joy and, and to be included in uh, Barbara's uh, ministry and uh, working with my uh, other three. And yes, we, uh, especially Dale, she emails me, so I'm supposed to. Speak louder into the mic so you can hear me. <laughs> I have a strong voice apparently, so I will do my best. And I'm just so happy to be here to celebrate the first year and many more. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so we'll just have a song. Pardon? Want to do our song? Okay. Okay, I must have missed something here. What's the other song? Oh, no, that's okay. Forget about it. I lost the song. You want to say something? It makes you feel good. I think it's a great song. I mean, it's a great song. I slept to it. Oh, okay. We'll let's sing it
I want to say congratulations, Barbara, on uh, uh, this wonderful, wonderful sanctuary. It always gives me great pleasure. It's a privilege and an honor to come through. And I hope that I can grow with this center as well. And I know that it takes a lot of strength and courage to step in there and to have a community, to have a sanctuary, a gathering space for like minds and people who are searching and looking for themselves. And thank you for being that doorway for us, that oasis, where we can come every Sunday and meet and join together as one. And to actually be with brothers and sisters and, and to feel comfortable in being ourselves. So once again, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Maureen, for being such a wonderful soul and, and, and being there for all of us as well. Not only in your healing, but in your, your really um, divine heart. Thank you again, and all of you that are here today to support us, to be in this room, to gather with your loved ones, open your minds and open your hearts so that we can just gather them, and because it is your energy that brings them here. So if you would give me a moment, please, I, I know that I have a wonderful spirit guide here that wants to talk, otherwise I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> it's a wonderful day, and the emotions are running high up here with such gratitude and appreciation for being able to do this. To have the freedom today that we didn't have many centuries ago and being ourselves, and being a medium, and being a psychic, being whatever it is that you wish to call it. And that, again, we need people like Barbara, who has an Aussie sitting over there, you know, because they are a team, they really are a team. And uh, gosh, it's so, so, so special. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> now, I told Spirit we didn't have much long, much, a lot of time to talk here today, so we'll see. That's okay, I try to keep control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Good morning, friends. <clears throat> it is with great pleasure that we come today because it is a celebration day that we have been standing here on the platform waiting our turn to speak and really recognizing all of the wonderful people that contribute to this happening, to having this center, to contributing. All of you may ask, who am I? And what am I? And we, friends, come here to say that you are the divine trinity alive. For your body comes from Mother Nature, from Mother Earth, and your spirit comes from Father Sky, the Son. However wish, way you wish to see the God of your understanding. And it takes instruments. It takes a, a happy, healthy heart to really give us the opportunity to work through them. We do not look for muppets and puppets. We do not look for ones that are a yes man, yes sir. We look for characters. And do you not believe that Barbara is a character? <laughs> and she is so. And we are proud of her and proud of her work for all that she has done for us, the spirit, and for the community of the spirit world. We often look upon Barbara to show us the way, to help us understand this world that we live in. Though we have walked this world, it continues to evolve and continues to grow. You have come to this earth to evolve your spirit, but also to evolve earth, to evolve humanity, and to evolve the oneness of all that there is. And so we need mentors. We need people who are willing to stand within their truth, willing to stand in the face of adversity and know who they are, and that they are the ambassadors of the divine love and light 
And we say here that Barbara and Ozzy are that indeed. And we are so pleased to be able to be here to acknowledge this for them. They have much work to do, there is much for them ahead of them, and they are younger by the day, not older different, but younger by the day. And more that the spirit work through them and the visions that we are preparing for them and the helpers that they have on earth as well as in the spirit will create a congregation that will be renowned throughout the world. And we are here to assist them in truth, in courage, and strength. And we ask you, the congregation, whether in the present or on the video or the television, may you be ready in spirit, in heart, in mind, to contribute to your God of your understanding and help this world to evolve to a greater understanding, clarity, and direction. We are all here to free brothers and sisters we are all here to bring the unity of the divine in oneness. However, there are many views on how this should be done. There are many opinions that on how this should be done. And dear friends, all we can say is that you need to follow your heart and your intuition. There are many that are faced with issues on this earth plane. The issues that create adversities issues that they haven't yet healed within themselves and therefore need assistance in prayer in energy of love and light. You do not always have to expound on, on advice. Your energy itself will provide for these wonderful souls the energy to see clearly all the tools that they need that are within them. For everything that you need to fulfill your mission on earth, or your life purpose, or your soul purpose, it is, it is all within you and able to come to the surface. What is stopping it from coming forth? It is your issues, it is your blockages, your restrictions, your conditions, your judgments, your assumptions. The belief systems that you have grown up with, the paradigms that you have grown up with, are all things that are stopping you from seeing and activating all of the wisdom that is in within you to complete what you have come to complete. Dear friends, what we can advise you is to follow your heart, but also take the time to heal thyself, to forgive and let go, for in forgiveness you set yourself free. It never says, that you are okay with what has occurred. The betrayals, the pain, the traumas, it wasn't okay. But what you do in this case is that you heal the emotional charge associated with it and therefore are no longer the slave to that event or to the people. Give them that Oscar for doing such a wonderful job and then let it go and move forward. Never to look back. You cannot change the past. You always have access to the past through vibration. But you cannot change it. You can only change yourself and manifest and create on a daily basis what is to come in the future. There is no future as per se, but rather the cause and effect each day you are creating the cause of the future effect of your life. Recognize this, but also know, dear friends, that you are here on a visit. You're not here on a permanent basis. This is a visit. You are the ambassador for mankind. See yourself as the ambassador from another country, from Canada, from the divine itself. We are always at our best when we're visiting, aren't we? <laughs> we always put our best foot forward. And so it is on the planet Earth. So it is in the physical world, having taken the physical body to be able to function in the physical world. You are the spirit and behave as the spirit, not the physicality. 
Though you may have taken that personality, that character that you needed, all its pluses and minus to accomplish what you come to accomplish. Bless that. Acknowledge that. And whenever you find yourself in that yin yang yin yang misery type of world, just tell yourself, hello. Hello. Who am I? I am the spirit. I have been influenced from this spirit, from this physical world. But first, I am spirit. And I can rise to higher ground, above the physical world, because I have that power. I have the power, the knowledge, the wisdom, to rise to higher ground. That just sunk for a moment, just stepped into mud. Now I can come out of the mud, wash my shoes, and walk straight again. Give yourself credit. Acknowledge yourself. Believe in yourself. Know yourself. How do we accomplish? How many questions we hear in the ethers? Why am I here? We have said so. You are here to evolve yourself, to evolve humanity, and to evolve oneness. For the oneness continues to evolve. It has a center of purity, and then it's just like a stone dropped in water. It has the ripples. And the purity of the center disintegrates as it gets to the outer circle. So now you are in the outer circle to bring in that purity that you have come from. Use all that you have. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. And do not need anyone else to validate yourself. You have been ingrained into this physical world and have learned to believe all that it presents for you. Know that you are much more. That you have many who are willing to work with you. We need you as an instrument. There are few and far between Barbara Lemons. There are few and far between. But there are many in the in-between that we need as well. You do not have to be in the limelight. You can do this work in your own private work in the world. You can do this by vibrating the higher frequency, by sending the love and light. You do not need to be on a platform. You do not need to be an actor that has become spiritual. But we need those instruments as well to bring it to the mass population. For you know, and it will always be the hundredth monkey that will explode a hundred times more what you are. So many of you need to join the forces of love and light. And once again, you do it by existence. You do it by existence. Stand in your power. And what is that power? That power is your spirit energy. Is your soul is your inner light, is your spark of God that you are here demonstrating on earth for all to see. Love thyself as God loves you in all this realm. Thank you for listening.
So the healing does begin as soon as you request it. Thought is energy, and each day the healing facilitators will ask for healing to be sent to those people. God receives the thought, and it is held there once you send it. At this time, I will ask the healing facilitators please to go to the back, and those who want to receive healing, please go to the back. you 
of your teachers and your leaders. And allow that energy to ripple out and touch all of them so that they too may experience the wonderful healing, the wonderful peace. Allow that energy now to go forward into the world and not only touch the world's leaders, but to touch the animals, the vegetation, the waters, the atmosphere, so that they may be healed. And let us be thankful to the animals and the vegetation and the minerals that give of themselves and serve us so greatly and feed us so well. Allow us now to reach out into the universe, into other parts of the universe that we are not familiar with, for many mansions in God's world that we are not aware of every room and every mansion. But we send love and we send caring, for God promises us that love and healing is never ending. And all we need to do is ask and the energy will follow the intention of the thought and the healing will begin. Now as we circle back to the seat of the soul, take a few moments just to sit quietly before you come back to your everyday workday world enjoy the tranquility and the peace of the healing area of your garden, the inner garden of healing. And know that you may visit here at any time. And God has promised the love and the healing is never ending. So open your hearts, your mind, and your hand. God bless you, and he sends his angels to keep after you.
out today. We also have a monthly calendar available on our website. And as our TV broadcast of the services, that is uh, available as well. Now we're going to, with our anniversary, uh, is there any more things? Is there anyone in the audience that has a birthday anniversary? She just had one. She's going to be too shy to say that. I know she just had one. I've had a birthday song to all those who are on the line.
job jobs, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, again, I may be uh, working with a spirit, and then another spirit butts in and says hello, and so we get it, we end up with cross wires, right? Just like in a social gathering, you're talking with a friend, and somebody comes in and starts a conversation while you're talking, right? <laughs> this is, happens in the spirit as well. We don't seem torn, right? Okay, all right. <laughs> So once again, it's a great privilege to be here and to be an instrument for the spirit people who are coming in and uh, remember having an open mind, an open heart will be a great deal uh, of an aid to, to, for us. And when we come to you, your voice connects you to the spirit who then, which then strengthens it. Uh, as we shift it to a higher frequency, I learned loops. <laughs> Everything is all language, right? Oh gosh. Anyways, um, I just it's easier to do telepathic language than to do voice, right? Enunciations and all of that wonderful stuff. So, yes, I hear you. Okay. So I have a gentleman with me that is very impatient to communicate here, and I'm getting the name Bert, as in the pa or um, you know the, the, the old the old children show Bert. And um, anyways, he's coming in as an individual who would have been a, a very present, quite present, presence, and would have been assertive in his ways and uh, rule the nest, shall we say. And uh, I, he would have also had, um, I'm, I'm feeling a, a, a study problem with him that then progressed into the chest area and eventually passed away. But I feel that he, he is here to greet his family. And I want to come to the gentleman here in the orange sweater. May I come to you, please? Sure. And do you have a, um, a father in spirit, please? No. His grand, then your grandfather. Yes, and would he have been a uh, assertive type of individual, somebody that would have had a presence? Uh, yes. Yes, and he would have commanded the, the crew, yes? yes? Yes. And I feel that he is still commanding, would you believe this? All right. And now I feel that your granddad is coming forward to link in with you and to give you that little boost, do you understand, please, to kind of help you be a little sturdier and walk stronger. Do you understand, please? No offense to you, but he feels that you need his help. Of course, he is very, very all-knowing, eh? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. That's okay. <laughs> I got a context to you. <laughs> Anyways, he's saying he has context. Do you understand, please? He can assist you and help you. The other thing is that you may have to make up your mind what it is that you want. Do you understand? So that he can assist you. Uh, but if you're going yin yang yin yang and you have been playing the ping pong ball, do you understand, please? And he says, well, stop playing ping pong and then decide what it is and let's go with it. Because then they don't know which direction to take. Do you understand? Did he have leg problems, please? I have leg or hip problems with this gentleman. Not that I'm aware of. Not that you're aware of. Do you have leg problems, please? Uh, I have broken the leg. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, so, no, okay. he says, more out and more exercise will help. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> I want to say with, with this gentleman that he also brings in a map. Do you understand, please? And I have a, a world map. You understand? And he says, there's no limitations for you, that you have access all over the world. You understand? No limitations. So stop taking or um, limitations as a restriction. You understand, please? All right? So you need to let that one go. And I want to say October, will, October the 10th, yes, thank you, October the 10th will bring you a doorway that you can cross to greater understanding. Do you understand, please? And I would encourage you to do that, all right? I also have a uh, motherly type vibration, a petite lady who also would have been very kind, very lovely, and I feel in the shadow of this gentleman. Do you understand, please? Do you have a grandmother in spirit? Uh, yes. yes. And I, it would, would it be his wife, please? Uh, his wife is still... In still the living. Yeah. All right, does he... Um, uh, okay, is... His daughter in spirit, please. Uh, no. no, okay. I want to say, I, uh, I'll just talk with her, please. Um, yes.
Yes, thank you. I have an auntie, please, an auntie in spirit. She comes in as an auntie, very motherly, very loving, very uh, uh, proud of who she is. Do you understand, please? But very helpful. Not yours? Not the No, okay. Do you have an auntie, please, in spirit? No, I have a lady next. Do you have an auntie? No. no. All right. So I, I'm no longer with you guys. So I'm going to leave that with you. I have this nice little lady here that I feel would have been in the shadow of the male in the family. Do you understand, please? So I feel, however, she says, I still did what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played my, my, my part, but I still did what I wanted to do. And I feel that I am with Joyce, please. May I come to you, please? I have this, uh, is your mom in spirit, please? Would she have been a petite lady, please? Um, would she have been a petite lady, a little lady? Yes, uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, petite, she likes the word petite, not little. Do you understand, please? <laughs> and I feel that she would have had a, a, uh, um, a strong personality, but also would have known her position and played the, the role. Do you understand this, please? Yes, she was a very, she was very directive, and yet, but very um, on the QT side. Do you understand, please? And allowed the, whoever the male, the father, and the family to rule. However, she was really the ruler. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she was definitely the ruler, and he knew it. So they played their little games. Do you understand, please? Okay. Yeah. And so, but there was great there, great deal of love there as well. Would you understand? And I also feel, please, I have a chest condition with her, please. A chest condition. Yes. I'm having trouble breathing here. Right? I'm having trouble with my chest. I don't know about the last couple of years of my life. I'm sorry? She could have had the last year. Yes, I'm just having trouble with my breath my breathing here. It's either heart or lung. I have a chest condition here. All right, and I feel that um, if it's not hers, then it belongs to the gentleman that is with her. Is is that, it, that father, please? Yes. yes thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't want to give you a chest condition. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the, the nudge here. She's the type who would give you the nudge as a sign. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So she's here to give you the nudge, Joyce. Your mom is here to give you the nudge to say, you are not finished. You're not doing what you want to do. Do you understand that, please? And she says, it's time to get it done, my dear. Okay? She, it's, not, it's not a challenge. It's not a wait. It's a fun thing for you. Do you understand, please? Because you truly enjoy who you are and what you are doing. Do you understand, please? And she says, I am so proud of you. And, and I may not have understood you when I was in the earth plane, but I do now. Do you understand, please? Thank you. Thank you. Because I didn't, while I was on the earth plane, I didn't understand you. Do you understand, please? And now I do. And I regret my actions and my words. Do you understand, please? And I want you to know this. I come here today to tell you this so that you can let it go and truly free yourself to be all that you want to be. Do you understand that, please? And then I have the gentleman that comes in with a warmer type vibration. Do you understand, please? And I feel that somebody that would have worn a uniform. Do you understand, please? Yes. Yes. And he comes in with a great deal of love and, and it just embraces you with that bodily type vibration. Do you understand, please? Okay. I feel that he would have loved reading. Do you understand, please? I love, I, I love poetry. I love, I love reading. Do you understand? Or is this you, please? I'm not sure what that helps. Okay. I have, I have a, a library around this gentleman. Do you understand, please? I'm feeling very, very, very fatherly with him. I feel that he has that uh, presence, and uh, I feel like I have, um, I have a, a, a pipe or a cigar in my mouth. Do you understand, please? Mm -hmm. So I feel that, uh, is this father or grandfather, please? It could be my grandfather. Yeah, I feel grandfather with him, please, more than father. I feel more, uh, he is British, please? Yes, and would have, um, uh, was he involved with Air Force, I'm um, seeing planes, was he involved with the, the, the forces, please? Oh, no, that's my husband. Oh, your husband was involved with it, and did he like reading, please? Not very much. No, eh? No. All right. Just a minute. I will find out from him who he is. <laughs> because we've got three possibilities here. That doesn't work in my books. No. <laughs> okay. 
I have a uniform on this man. I, 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 I truly, um, did your husband, yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel this is your husband. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, and he has the and he comes in with that fatherly vibration, and he's the one that would squeeze you and say, "I love you." Yes, thank you. And he wore a uniform. Yes, and and he liked to pipe now and then, please. Yes, he did like to pipe, and it just gave him that uh, <laughs> that peace, that kind of thing. And then he says, like. Then eventually I have to put it away because you didn't like the pipe. That's right. He says, I did it because I loved you. But I must tell you that I sneak to pipe now and then. <laughs> but you also could smell it. But I always made an excuse. You understand please? Okay? All right. All right. But he comes and he says, I admire your strength and your courage, and never know that I am uh, never, um, yeah, never doubt that I am by your side. You understand that, please? I am fully there by your side, supporting you, and so on. And though I may not have enjoyed reading, as you say, I certainly have gone to the hall of knowledge to learn more about all that you are doing. Do you understand, please? And you know, you can always ask me, because I have some assets, you know, now, that I can assist you with. Do you understand, please? And he says, it is the hall of learning. Do you understand, please? <laughs> Never did like studying. Do you understand? Okay. But again, he says, remember the dance we used to dance? Yes. Yes. And he says, dance it with me, will you not? Do you understand, please? So a great deal of love coming here for you. And, and just to, to link in and say, happy anniversary. Do you understand, please? Okay? And so he embraces you and he says, I'll give you flowers, even flowers. Do you understand? Okay? And here they are. And um, yes, thank you. Um, is there a child in spirit, please? A child in spirit. Yes. Because I, I just as I'm leaving you, I have a child coming forward to link in with you and again say, you know, I have been trying to cheer you up, but you have a tendency to be a little stubborn, mother. <laughs> he says, you love music, put the music on. Do you understand, please? And I feel that this gentleman would have, uh, would have loved music. Um, uh, gosh. Um, did he survive birth, please? Did he survive birth? He was he was miscarried or aborted. Yes, thank you. And so he says that had I survived birth, I would have played the music. Do you understand, please? Yes. And he says I still I do play it in the spirit. So if you hear music in your head, please know that it is this son, a son. I have a son here. Do you understand, please? Coming forward. And have you named him, please? I found him perfect. Yes, would you please have a nice meditation with and call him forth and then name him and ask him if that's the name he likes. <laughs> okay? And then, uh, but uh, you know, you have that ability and that will bring you closer. And when you feel and you hear that music, you can say, Is that you? and call him by name. Do you understand? Remember that he chose you knowing that he would be miscarried. Do you understand, please? It's not your fault. Do you understand that, please? All right? It was all meant to be this way. All right? So he comes again to, to do this. Um, and so I just look like you're going to do that. Before you do that, her husband was a leader. He was a leader? Ah! <laughs> oh, I see. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, Barbara just enlightened me on your husband here. No wonder he's giving me a hard time. <laughs> oh, I'll get you for this. All right. I have contacts to a heaven. <laughs> okay, great grandmother. You know who to contact now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, Grandma. Yeah. All right. So um, da, 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 da. let's come back to you. I want to leave that with you with a great deal of love. And he's laughing, laughing his head off. Do you understand, please? And I'll leave that with you and say God bless. All right? All right. I'm going to come to, um, where am I here? May I come to you, please? With, uh, yes, thank you. All right. As I touch in with you, I have uh, a beautiful lady that embraces you from behind. 
And again, I feel she's a little heavy, and uh, but so full of that wonderful love that I so miss. Do you understand that, please? Do you have a mother or a grandmother in spirit, please? Grandmother. grandmother. And that would have been a little heavy set, please? At the end of the At the end, end. yes. yes. She, has, she, she always wanted to go back to her childhood. No, well, she was very yeah, she, was, she didn't yeah. like to be heavy. And always wanted to, uh, her girlish look, do you understand, please? But never managed it before she passed away. But that was one of her greatest desires, you know, and always worried about, yeah. But, you know, there was, there was uh, as I link in with her, I feel that love and that embrace coming forward here. Do you understand, please? Eh? And she says, you know, you just need that love right now. And she says, I heard your prayers. And she says, I am here to work with you. I also feel, please, that I have been challenged to a great deal in the last three months. Do you understand this, please? All right? And I want to say that those challenges was for you, that you created those to demonstrate at the point of readiness that you are. Do you understand? And you're ready for the next step. I want to say congratulations on that. And your grandmother is here to say, I'm holding your hand and I'm just lifting you up. I'm here in honoring you, do you understand, to that higher, uh, higher step. Do you understand? I also have uh, Judith, Jewel, Jew, Jew, Julia, do you have a Julia in spirit, please? Judith, Jewel, I feel a friendship tie here, please. A uh, friendship tie. Julia, I feel like Julie, Julia, Jewel, Jewel. a friend from Germany. Yeah, Jewel. Jewel. Uh, Jewel. In, the, in the spirit, please? No? I don't know right now. All right. No, because it can come from the spirit as well as in the living. Yes, and, and so I had a contact. What is it? Okay, let me just find out what's going on. Um, okay, I, I feel that I need to contact Jewel, Julia, this lady. You understand, please? Okay, I need to contact this friendship tie for she needs to hear my voice and my, the wisdom that will come through for her. You understand? Is it a she or a he, please? Ju Juliana? Ju yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a peanut gallery. <laughs> she a colleague of mine? Uh, I feel very close friendship time. Do you understand, please? And so I'm getting this from um, uh, the, the higher wisdom here. I'm getting this from the guy that you need to contact this, this uh, lady, Juliana, as we were confirmed over okay. here. Um, and, and that she needs to hear you're, you're going to be the messenger. Do you understand, okay. please? Okay, there's something very something troubling her or, you know, just call, how are you, and blow it out. You understand, please, okay? You, the, yeah, thank you. Um, I also feel, please, that there's been a recent passing, please. Uh, there's been a recent passing in your in, um, entourage, in your, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and my, with my friends, yes. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. God's father. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I was All is well. Family. All is well. You. Would, you tell, you. would you tell, was it Paul that you yeah. said? Would you tell Paul oh, that I'm okay? Okay. I please. That I made it okay, and thank Good. you for the support and the love and for him. That, that he trusted me. Do you okay. understand, please? Okay. And tell him that I will always appreciate what he did for me. You understand? Okay? okay. So would you pass that on yes. all as well? Then he needs to hear that. Okay. And I'll leave that with you and say God bless. Thank you all for listening. Thank you.
And I also, I wanted to, uh, which is not on the program, I found a quote, I need to quote, and uh, I'd like to share this with you before ending the service with our closing prayer. And it's, to believe is to have faith in the tapestry of life, and to know that every day is unfolding in a miraculous way. And uh, when you are just impressed, I, I just wanted to share that with you today. And I do read quotes every day uh, before the day of my day. And before we do a former circle, um, I guess that uh, I'd like to do the closing prayer. And I ask God that you turn on everyone with your love and light. As you travel to the various destinations and do their everyday activities this coming week, and that you bring peace to us all. <laughs>